So this week we're lucky we have a bit on Miketz, something sweet, and we have something on Hanukkah, also short and sweet. With Miketz, we have Joseph, right, the rising star, the greatest finance minister the Middle East has ever had, and Rabbi Raphael Birdugo wants to, wants to understand the behavior of Pharaoh Paro towards Yosef. We always seem to see it like that, that, you know, Paro loves Yosef, he gives him everything, gives him a new name, gives him a great job, he says you have everything except for, you know, that, that title of king, um, and, and, you know, it, it just seems like he really, you know, he likes the guy. And Rabbi, Ose, Rabbi Raphael says, you know, l let's not forget ourselves. He says, the way Paro is acting, as we will see, is like a classic dictator. That's what it is. Um, he says, firstly, after the, the uh, you know, the, the, the uh, solving the, uh, the dreams, Pharaoh understands. I have an issue. If I don't solve this situation, I'm going to lose my power, and that's all I care about. So he gives Yosef everything possible because he believes that Yosef is the solution to his problems, to him remaining king, remaining in power. That's all he's concerned concerned about. That's the first thing. And then how do we see this? Right? This is and this is this is gorgeous. He says, "Why does Paro have to give him a new name? Tsofnat Panech, right? The one who solves riddles or mysteries." Just call him his name, Yosef. Everyone knows him as Yosef. Why give him a new name? And why give him the daughter of the Kohen, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kohen of Avon? Well, what's this about? He says it's very simple. He says, what happens to rising stars in a dictatorship? The other generals want to knock him off, want to kill him, right? So he says, first I'm going to change his name and call him Tsofnat Panach, the one who knows everything, solves everything, hinting that, you know, the source of his solving everything is divine. Lest anyone tries to, to, you know, conspire against him, he'll know what you're up to and get you. Not even worth it. Meaning, giving the name isn't a, an endearment, but he's doing it in order to protect his own tushi, in order to protect his own bum, as good dictators do. And this is also the reason why he gives uh, Yosef the daughter of a Kohen. Rabbi Raphael says, look at any leader in our days today. They always keep close the, the, the religious folk. You know, it's always good to have a few people that have that direct route to God because those are also people that the people fear, right? A king is just about power. But if you have the high priest, you have the, 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 the rabbi, whoever on your side, you know, you think the person's more kosher. And that's what it's about. He says, if I give Yosef a new name, that means he can tell, sees everything, knows everything, and I let him marry the daughter of the high priest, that I'm, that I'm safe. No one's going to conspire against him because they know he knows everything and they know he's a good guy because he's connected to, to, you know, to our divinities, a kol beseder, and that's what this pharaoh dictator is up to. Nothing has changed. By the way, in, according to this brilliant interpretation, we can understand what it means when later on we'll learn about the new pharaoh that didn't know Joseph. It's not that he didn't know how awesome Joseph was, the troubles have been forgotten and he's another dictator concern, anti-Semitic dictator concerned with his power. Now something beautiful about Hanukkah. Why the, the miracle of Hanukkah? Rabbi Raphael says uh, Sukkot, Pesach, you know, all of, all of our holidays, are, or those ones are essentially about, you know, God created some miracle that saved our bodies, we're alive, we're thankful, without those we would not be here. Okay, right, Sukkot, the desert, Pesach, the beginning of our people, but but what's, and even with Purim we can understand, because Purim we were all saved, right? Achashverosh with Haman wanted to kill all the Jews, everyone, like a holocaust. But Hanukkah? He says, what's the miracle here? We didn't, we know halachically because there was a state of war and because we were, you know, it was Pikoch Nefesh, we weren't allowed to do this. So there, we didn't have to light the, the, the menorah. There was no issue with it. So, so it's this puny little, little tiny miracle thing we didn't even need. And Rabbi Raphael says, I know that Maimonides and Nachmanides have dealt with this, right? They've dealt with everything possible. But he says, if you ask me, I think it's something else. I think the purpose of Hanukkah, it is precisely because it is such a tiny miracle that shows the greatest extent, extent of God's divine providence. That is the purpose of Hanukkah, to show God is even in the smallest, the little can of oil, that, that, you know, you didn't have to do, but you wanted to do to rekindle the fire in your spirit, God is going to make sure that you're going to have enough for what you need. That's what it's about. Why the miracle of Hanukkah? Precisely because it's the smallest miracle in Jewish history, hence the greatest aspect of God's divine providence. Shabbat Shalom and Hanukkah Sameach.